John Ackland is the first member of the Ackland family to emerge from the shadows of history as a visible human being. John Ackland was seated at Ackland Barton in the parish of Lankey, near Barnstable in North Devon, which had been the family's seat since 1155, the Ackland family having migrated to England soon after the Norman Conquest. By the 19th century, the family possessed a West Country estate of nearly 40,000 acres, and today they are probably the oldest surviving landed family in Devon. The inscriptions on the painting suggesting that John Ackland was painted in 1554 at the age of 42 are misleading. John Ackland actually died on the 5th of October 1553 and did not reach the age of 42 years. When Ackland's grandfather had his will written on the 3rd of September 1538, it was noted that John Ackland had not yet reached the full age of 21 years. By April 1539, however, he had been appointed the administrator of his grandfather's estate, suggesting that he had now reached the age of 21, putting his year of birth in either 1517 or 1518, and meaning that he only lived to be 35 or 36 years of age. John married Margaret Radcliffe, daughter and co-heiress of Hugh Radcliffe, whose portrait is also believed to hang in the library at Killerton. John Ackland and Margaret Radcliffe had two living sons and two living daughters at the time of his death, with his second son, Sir John Ackland, responsible for purchasing the estate of Colum John. After John's death, Margaret married John Brett of White Staunton and had at least a further six children. The painting is described as Anglo-Dutch, however one name that has previously been mentioned is Hans Eworth. Eworth was the most distinguished Dutch artist to work in England in the mid-16th century and was the principal court portrait painter during the reign of the Catholic Queen Mary Tudor. Eworth painted a portrait of the Ackland's near neighbour Sir John Luttrell, while the portrait of Nicholas Heath at the National Portrait Gallery highlights the quality of Eworth's work and the similarities with our painting. Despite the frequent appearance of the HE monogram normally on the top left of the painting, but sadly not visible here in our painting, the attribution of works to Eworth and indeed the identification of sisters remains challenging. However, when Lady Anne wrote to the National Portrait Gallery with a photo in 1980, their response was not only was it the picture of great quality, but the name suggested was that of Hans Eworth. That photo is still in the archives of the National Portrait Gallery today and underneath it has been typewritten attributed to Hans Eworth. 